Hey there, it's Jennifer. I want to quickly introduce you to this stay video because there's a lot of expert tricks that are going to get you there so much faster. The problem with training the stay using treats is while it's the fastest and best way, oftentimes as soon as you give your treat, your dog jumps up and how can you get them to stay in place? I'm going to show you a whole bunch of physical strategies to keep the dog's attention, to keep their head up so that their butt stays down in the sit, to act like you are never running out of treats, that the treats are constantly going to be delivered. It holds their attention. When you start to move away from the dog in a stay, you want to be already moving back towards them before they even get a chance to sit up. And then finally, you have to introduce a release word. That's a whole nother video. Without a release word, you're not going to have any kind of reliable stay whatsoever. So. You'll need to let your dog know in a very clear way when he's done with the stay, whether it's a sit stay or a down stay. I want you to move with intention and exuberance and say the word free. When you move, your dog's going to move. And that just happens to be the word that we use. We have shown the whole thing unedited because we really want you to see we got a hold of these dogs the first time they've ever done stay. All right, take care. Watch me. Stay. I have the snack here and I'm take, tearing off pieces. Watch me. Stay. See how tall I am? I come in like that and then I give the food. This just comes up a little higher, so I'm holding this. Stay. At a place where, watch me. Stay. I can sort of let it slide out a little bit, but then I can also do this. Stay. It's just a little leash trick. Takes a little time. Whoop. Sit. See, I just re restarted. Good boy. Collect it in again. Stay. See how high my treat hand is? He's too tempted when it's down here. Watch me. Stay. And I also kept his attention with that voice, right? Mesmerizing. Free. Puppy that's food motivated, it's really good. <laughs> Um, and it can help you when they have a super short attention span to sort of get where you want to get a little, get him to stay longer and things like that. When he stay. So these guys, when they don't think I have any more food, they stop, they excuse themselves. Stay. So what I'm doing is, is I'm showing him clearly that I have more food in my hands. So when you're first starting out, never let your hands become empty. Once they're empty, your puppy's going to stop paying attention. Stay. And so what I'm doing to sort of keep his attention, I'm doing a lot of stalling. Leave it. Stay. And how I'm stalling is I'm breaking the treat very slowly, and I act like I'm on my way with the food, but I'm on my way super slowly. Stay. I show him I still have more. I still have more food. So he's going to continue to stay, and this is how I'm able to build up a little bit more time in the stay. So if you keep your movements fluid, he's going to think that the project is continuing. Make it really obvious you have the food when you're first starting out. Later, we can worry about getting rid of the treats, which is what we're really good at doing. And now. Treat to your friend with a super motivated doggy. Down. Good boy. So this is really helpful in the down stay. Just a little while ago, these guys wanted to jump up. As soon as he got his food, he thought he was done. Stay. So he's going to recognize this pattern. Every time he looks up, I put another one down. See how... him rolled on his hip, on one hip, he'll be more willing to stay in the position longer. See, I'm stalling, and see, he doesn't have very much stay, stay power yet. Stay. So, I still have food here, but he wants to move towards it. Keep his head up, and he's more likely to stay rolled back on that shoulder and that hip. Stay. See how when I break it, I'm moving in. I'm still buying time, and he's staying a bit longer each time. Stay. If you need to, you 
can be putting treats down with that hand. I still have more here. I don't know if you can see that, Alex. Mm -hmm. I have my left hand on your dog's shoulder blade right here. <clears throat> Leave it, stay. Just to keep his shoulder pushed back that way, just in case, when you're just first starting out, just in case he starts to get up, you can sort of help him to succeed. You're showing him, hey, if you just wait there, I hand delivering to you treat after treat. You don't have to move. Leave it. Stay. Just keep bringing his attention back. Stay. Winnie. Stay. No, stay. See how I'm on my way with it? And that keeps him staying. I'm on my way with it. Even going in your tree pouch like this can tend to buy you some time. You see that? Stay. So these are little strategies. Always have a piece of food in your hand. Break off small pieces when you actually decide to give them to him so you can keep up the little stream of... No, down. I want to make sure that he doesn't get up until I've excused him. Stay. And I can excuse him any number of ways. I can just tell him free, which is Arvin's word. And he can, he's free to go do what he wants. Or I can heal him out of this position. When you heal. That's a good one, Sid. And that's the treat trick. So you can see in that last clip, if I would have let Winnie get up every time he tried, I would have had to keep starting over and over and over and he wouldn't have gotten to understand that, oh, she's going to invite me to get up anyway in just a moment. This little mini schnauzer, Cooper, um, has been with us for four weeks now. His mama is trying, but she um, hasn't gotten really any stays out of him. We're working with him here on the park today and he just won't stay even in a sit. Sometimes he'll take the treats, sometimes not. So this is not an easy dog. Um, you know, he wants to be involved with everything else but the training. So the best way to work on anything new is to do it with even less distractions than we have here. We don't have a heck of a lot of distractions. There's nobody coming right now. Move to a location you haven't tried before, maybe a different part of the house. And once he's mastered, he's doing really good on the lessons that we've given you, we talked about you then moving to where it's a little bit harder, which is the backyard. And then the next step is the front yard, maybe on your driveway, and there's gonna be distractions starting to come. So she, she's doing the stay routine here, and it's outside. So what this tells me is that it's time for you to get some of this success outside. Emily has gotten through the sit stays and is going to move on to the down stay strategies, ways that you can keep your dog down there longer so that they hurry up and figure out that the treats are going to just keep flowing. Good down, buddy. Could you go off to a deserted like parking lot, like a church parking lot or maybe? Parking lot might be the best. Yeah. You could also come here because now that he's done it here, He's more prone to do it for you. You're going to actually do it next. As soon as Emily's done with this stay routine here, stay. Just keep putting those snacks down. Show them that snacks are going to keep going, being hand-delivered like this. Look over and over again. See how she keeps putting those treats down? First step for her there is to be able to stand up and then go drop one down and then stand up a little higher and drop one down and stand up a little higher and drop one down. So she's starting to get the he's starting to get the rhythm that her hand is going to come right back down when he looks up. And he looks up and she paused and then she gave it to him. So she's trying to Did she tell him down? Yes, she did. But she's also luring him down with the, she lured him down to the snack. So see, it's, she's got her, both of her hands working there. One hand's trying to keep his shoulder there, stabilize him, so he can accelerate his learning here and figure out, wow, 
if I just stay here, she's going to keep delivering these delicious beef liver snacks. Look, he's settling down right there. There it is. And snack. And be slow. And be calm. Stay. Keep saying stay. Make sure that you don't feed him out of your hand during this, because otherwise he'll try to reach up and meet your hand halfway and steal again. Remember how he's doing that with you in the sits? That way, he's going to be not needing to steal it from her hand anymore. Sniffy time. Free before he blows it. All right. That was awesome. Sit. Good. good. Really good. Good girl. Stay. Stay. Just one. No. Sit. Don't bend over. Good job, Skadet. Sit. Sit. Take one step back. And then go in and give her a treat before she breaks. Before she breaks. Good. Say stay and do stay. it again. Two steps. Keep the leash high. Sit. Good. It's, it's basically kind of like the leash is ready to slightly tighten. Stay. stay. Go a little further out. One more step. Keep it tight. Move back in and give her a treat. Stay. Stay. So see how many successes she's getting, honey? Hey, super trainers. You were awesome today. I hope you learned something new. If so, please hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe over here. It really does help us continue providing this awesome, awesome content for you. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.